So Maddie, what if they laugh at me if I speak? Well, good morning, Maddie. This video is for all my entrepreneurs and leaders out there who feel a tremendous amount of stress when they're about to speak in front of people. Welcome to Good Morning Maddie, by the way. People. Speaking in front of people can be the most terrifying thing in the world, but it's not going to kill you if you're tempted. The first thing I always say to people, before you speak, become a student. That means put yourself in the audience's seat. I remember my first ever professional speaking performance. It was a training job that I had when I was 21. I had to speak in front of a group of a younger audience who were about the same age as me. And it was so terrifying because they were, they were my peers. They were the same age, but I had more knowledge and I was trained to help them to find work. But having to do this presentation was nerve wracking. And in the middle of the presentation, to make it even worse, my shirt popped open and I didn't even realize this. So you can imagine the terror when I came out of the room and the boys in the corner were staring my, at me with their eyes open and all of a sudden I captured their attention and my colleague said to me, Matty, your shirt was open. I understand that most people are afraid of what people will say about them. What if they laugh? If I sound funny, if my voice breaks, and what if I forget my words? In some cultures, people will laugh at your own at your accents. So when you're learning a new language and your peers are learning just as much as you are, they will make fun of the fact that your accent is probably worse than them, even though their accent is just as terrible. Don't let that stop you. This is what I would advise you to do. I recommend preparing for all your speeches and presentation and training, starting with writing what you're going to say down, recording yourself, and finally listening to yourself on a repeated and repeated basis, simply because if you are writing this down, it will help you to prepare yourself. I know, I know, I know it's a script, Maddie, but in all honesty, that is the best way for you to start getting comfortable with hearing the sound of your own voice, but also getting more confidence. Also, one final point, you might wanna stop listening to your friends who keep telling you that you sound funny and you sound foolish and that you are terrible. You might wanna look for other people, a community of people who can be encouraging and extremely forthcoming. So, I'm gonna stop right here because I am going to leave you a little tool for you to practice this on your own and tell you a little story in the link below. I had a client who had the same exact problem, a director to be precise, and she had issues with presenting. And after we started practicing these, these tools, her presentation beca became much more fluent and she became so much more confident, she even surprised herself. So I wanna tell you all about this. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna leave you this little tool for you that you can claim underneath the video. It's in the link below. That's all I have for today. If you want to know a bit more how you can master your story and improve your connection with your audience and be an excellent communicator, please join me on the 5th of February when I'll be doing a Facebook Live and teaching you a little bit more how you can become that much more connected to your audience. All right, my name is Matty. If you like this video, please feel free to leave a comment. What is your biggest fear when you're about to speak in front of people? Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you again in the next video.